I was um, walking into the room to see uh, a new patient. Very first time this patient had come to me in the office. And I walked in, introduced myself. We started chit-chatting. And as I was kind of looking over her information, I flipped over uh, the sheet that my uh, medical assistant writes the vitals on. And I noticed her blood pressure was literally through the roof. It was sky high. And her pulse, her heart rate was so, so fast. And I remember turning around quickly and saying, oh my gosh, your blood pressure and your pulse are so high. Are you, do you feel okay? Are you, are you all right? And I kind of jump up. Uh, she had looked fine. She was talking fine. Um, she might've seemed a, a little nervous to me, but I didn't notice much. And I start listening to her heart and she says, I'm just nervous. She said, I get so nervous for doctor's office visits. And I get especially nervous when I'm seeing a new doctor. She said, I'm, I'm just nervous. And you know what, if that's ever been you, you're not alone. Guys, I have patients also who avoid coming to see me altogether or avoid getting medical tests because they're afraid of the results. Or maybe they don't want to hear the results of testing that they got because they're afraid that they might end up with the thing that their family member or friend had that scares them to no end. You know, there's actually a word for this, believe it or not. It's called iatrophobia. Who would have thunk it, right? That's the fear of doctors or medical tests. And what do we do if we're afraid of doctors or getting medical tests? Well, we might cancel appointments repeatedly over and over and over again. We might cancel appointments and then reschedule them. Cancel, reschedule, cancel, reschedule. Uh, we might avoid the doctor even when we're really sick and need a doctor in order to self-treat at home to avoid going to the doctor. Uh, we might uh, not get our preventative care. We might avoid our colonoscopies and mammograms and things like that because we just don't want to know guys I have a I have a handful of patients that really they say you know what dr. Jen you can talk to me until you're blue in the face about colonoscopies and mammograms and all this stuff I understand why it's important but you know what I just don't want to know I feel fine right now I don't want to know if there's anything wrong I have had patients literally tell me that also patients you know you might find that you get anxious before appointments but maybe not even just right before the appointment it could even be weeks before you go to the doctor that could make you anxious uh weeks knowing that you have a doctor's appointment coming up you know there's a lot of sort of signs and symptoms of being afraid of the doctor and they can range and let me tell you if this is you you're not alone this actually happens to a good number of people and as a family doctor i see this all the time which is why we're talking about it by the way there are things we can do about it and things that might help you get through this so this is the thing, if this is you, if there's any sort of uh, part of this that sounds familiar to you, first thing I want you to do, and probably the most important thing I need you to do is to tell your doctor how you feel. We need to know this because when you're anxious or nervous, it does affect things. Number one, things like blood pressure and pulse. If you're deathly afraid of going to the doctor and, and coming in to see me, that might explain why your blood pressure or pulse or other things may be abnormal. That's important for me to know. Also, let us know what it is you're afraid of. Is it that you're just afraid of not knowing what you don't know? Is it that you're afraid of a particular thing? I remember I had, I've had a number of patients over the years tell me that they were just deathly afraid of cancer. They've had a number of people in their family having cancer and they just had a fear of cancer. It was their worst fear. So for them, it wasn't being afraid of the doctor or being afraid of um, even the unknown necessarily. It was specifically cancer. Are you afraid of, uh, of, of the unknown? Are you afraid of finding something that you didn't know that you had? Are you afraid of, well, what are you afraid of? Let us know that as well because it helps inform us. It helps us help you. And now let's talk about what can be done, okay? Um, first of all, let me say this, you got to find the right doctor because if you're seeing a doctor that makes your anxiety or your worries worse, well, that's not good for anyone, is it? If your doctor is not understanding or compassionate to how you're feeling and what you're going through, well, get rid of them, please. You already got enough on your plate by being afraid to go to the doctor. You know, I have a patient that is really afraid of lab tests. He doesn't like to get blood work done. And he really needs to get blood work done, but he does not like to get it done. And I remember asking him why, and he says, I, I just don't want to know. I don't want to know. Uh, I, I don't, I, I, I'm afraid of what we're going to find. And me understanding that and being compassionate towards that is, is important. It's important for him. It's important for my ability to help uh, him through his medical conditions and medical concerns. So if you're not comfortable with your doctor, get rid of them, first of all, and find a doctor that you're comfortable with, uh, more comfortable with, at least. The other thing is, uh, when you're going to the doctor's office or when you're picking your doctor, 
try to find an environment that's relaxing to you. You know, if you're afraid of doctors, maybe going to a, 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 a doctor whose practice is in a hospital setting, maybe that makes you feel even more nervous. Maybe you need a doctor's office that has cushy chairs in the waiting room, that plays relaxing music, that has a certain feel, or maybe the staff is a certain way. Uh, maybe the office needs to be in a certain location or a certain type of location or have certain hours. All of those things matter and pay attention to that. Um, once again, find the environment or pick the environment that helps you the best. Also, um, consider telemedicine. Telemedicine is not great for everything and every type of medical office visit, but it can be great for some things. And if you just can't stomach going into the office, maybe a video conference call or a telemedicine visit is right for you on occasion. Of course, you want to talk with your doctor about you feeling this way and that maybe this is an option at certain times, but consider it because that might help you. Another thing you can do is when you go to the doctor's office, don't go alone. Bring a family member, bring a friend, bring a spouse, a husband, a, a wife, whomever. Bring your child. If it makes you feel better, consider doing that. Don't go alone. Bring a book, okay? Um, so that if you're sitting in the waiting room, you're distracting yourself or plan to watch videos on your phone. You watch Netflix on your phone or what have you to distract you, distract you rather. The other thing is um, try to avoid waiting uh, a long time in the waiting room. Sometimes the anticipatory wait can be like so stressful, right? You're just sitting there waiting to be called to go back in the room. Try to avoid a long wait. Minimize the time that you're waiting or ask for the first appointment of the day or the first appointment like after lunch or in the evening. Um, it might lower and lessen the amount of time that you have to wait to sort of ruminating about all the things that you might be worried about anyway. The other thing is um, when doctors know, and this is why I also say tell us, when we know your concerns and fears, we can help you in a number of ways. Number one, you know, maybe we might suggest counseling or, or having someone to talk to about your fears. Now, this is not needed for everyone, but for some people, there may be something larger here or uh, it may be so deep seated that therapy or counseling may be the right choice. But there are also things I can do as a doctor that might help you. Like for my patients that I know are particularly worried, um, I know my patients that are worried about, say, cancer, the ones that are worried about results. The wor and you know what I do? I can prepare them. I say, okay, I know you get concerned about results, et cetera. Let me let you know how I am. I call for all results. So if you get a call from my office, don't necessarily assume it's bad. I call with all results, good or bad, okay? That helps them know what to expect, okay? Also, um, I can call them myself. I'm one of these doctors. I do still call patients myself. It's just part of who I am. Um, with patients that I know that are particularly nervous, I like to call them myself with results or to discuss things because I know it's going to make it easier and it's going to be perhaps helpful, more helpful than if my staff or someone else just calls and leaves a message. Uh, other things, I can, um, it helps me sometimes decide what therapies and sort of pathways for treatment. You know, if I know that you're particularly nervous or anxious about something in terms of preventative care and screening tests and how we get things done and the order in which we do them and blah, 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 it might change how I do things to help facilitate things for you. Rather than sending you to the radiology center five different times of the course of the year, I might say, okay, get your mammogram, your DEXA and this and that, go to radiology one time and get all this stuff done, right? As an example. Uh, so there's a number of things, and that's one example. There's a number of things that we can do to try to help make things less burdensome and make things a little bit easier for you. Rather, that's the hope. Um, I could go on and on and on about this, honestly. How you feel is important to us doctors, just as it's important to you. So if you feel afraid to go to the doctor to get results, to see the doctor, what have you, you're not alone. Just make sure you talk to us about it so we can help. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. I do videos every single day. Make sure you like and follow my page uh, for daily updates. Also, for those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Um, also, consider joining my subscription group, Dr. Jen Superstars, for exclusive content. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.